Hey puppy. What are you doing? You peeing? Yeah, you're peeing. Did you pee on my foot? A little bit. It's okay. It happens. Alright. I got stuff to do. No humping. Alright, so this video is going to be about me making a repair to this tank. I've had an issue with a leak. And it's coming from right where this discharge pipe meets the tank. I think that the weld has become stressed and cracked. I've been just uh, putting epoxy over it to slow it down, but I really need to fix it properly. So I don't know if I'm going to do it today. I might just kind of plan it out today. But what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to have to cut these welds. When I put this tank on the truck, I weld it to the bed. I probably should have bolted it, but I welded it. That's just what happened. So I'm going to need to cut those. There's four of them. And then I'm going to have to start jacking the tank up. Hopefully I can get it at least a foot up. I think that would give me room to work. All right, let's talk uh, safety with the tank and welding. Welding a tank is very dangerous, especially a tank like this. There is a possibility for there to be methane gas in there. But with what I pump, the possibility is very low because methane gas is produced by anaerobic bacteria. That's bacteria that lives in the absence of oxygen. And the porta potties don't really have a lot of time to, to uh, go septic and start producing anaerobic bacteria and producing methane gas. So that risk is fairly low, but I have rinsed the tank thoroughly and dumped it and it will be vented in two spots. So I am very safe in that aspect. So in order to raise this tank up, I'm gonna have to take off these fittings. I think if I just take this one, which is a discharge pipe for fresh water, I think if I can just take that one off and maybe the 90, then I think it would rotate up enough to give me space to work. So I also need to remove all my buckets. These are all these are all bolted down. Now I have to get that 90 off. And that's not gonna be easy because it wasn't easy to put on. So I got this side free. I'm kind of putting a car jack under here. Supposedly this tank weighs 700 pounds. I don't believe it for a second. I mean, I put this thing on here and I, I couldn't lift it with the uh, the excavator. And I believe that thing lifts 1,200 pounds.
see what I can do about lifting this thing up. Definitely a crack right there. Maybe right there. Yeah, right there. You can see some water coming out of it. So I'm gonna have to cut into that and reweld it. I'm glad it's not the tank that's bad. Just a faulty weld. They really shouldn't have started the weld on the bottom. They should have started on the top. actually see the crack all right we are ready for welding
smell of burning shit. thing about the Pacific Midwest every goddamn day it's 40 mile an hour wind well I mean there's about a hundred bad things about it but that's that's the one right now that's really messing everything up You know, I've been welding for 20 fucking years, and I have never had problems like this. This is all clean metal. Why is, why is there soot? Why is every weld porous? I think I bought a tank full of air. I don't think there's any fucking argon or carbon dioxide in there. I think it's a full tank full of compressed fucking air. What a shit show. But pressure tested it when it's holding, so I'm gonna call it good. I'm gonna put some paint on there and get start getting the tank mounted back down. their bed for some paint. Alright, I'm not done, but I am done for the day. So I've just been cleaning up. I, I sprayed some acid on the bed. I'm gonna see what I got for paint at my house and maybe do some painting on this tomorrow. And that's about it. Alright, well, I found about a half a gallon of paint in my house, so I kind of 
dumped paint on there and rolled it around. It looks okay for what it is, but I was painting in the dark, so I missed a lot of spots. Um, maybe, maybe in like three or four months when we start to have sunlight, I'll be able to do a better job with it because right now the paint is still sticky. But looks good for now.